I'm Joan. I'm Sherry. Hi. Nice to meet you. I, I'm Kane. So the first question is, um, what like what is your profession? Like, sort of give us a little bit on who you are and and what you do. Sure. I'm a neurotherapist or a neurofeedback specialist. And what exactly is neurofeedback? Well, the the term that you want to start with is biofeedback. Mm -hmm. And biofeedback, bio means life, right? And feedback means I'm showing you something about your body. So, um, for example, very simple biofeedback would be a mirror. Um, when you look at a mirror, you see something about your face and then like, let's say you look at your hair and you see, oh, I need to brush my hair. So it gives you feedback and then you change something or a scale. You get on the scale, it's giving you feedback about your body and then you might decide that you might need to eat a bit less or something like that. So biofeedback is, the, is a really important term and there's um, about five or six different kinds of biofeedback. There's um, heart biofeedback. So I can show you how fast your heart is beating and what rhythm it has, and we can actually change that. There's breathing biofeedback. There's muscle biofeedback. There's sweat biofeedback, which is actually a lie detector test. That's biofeedback. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually really interesting. Um, so, so all those different kinds of biofeedback I said, heart, breathing, temperature, sweat, um, and then there's brain biofeedback. And brain biofeedback is called neurofeedback. Because I'm giving you feedback about what your brain is doing, and then I'm training, I'm helping you train to change certain patterns in your brain. So just moving into that, and you can stop me anytime you, you'd like, um, your brain gives off electricity, right? And there's different speeds of electricity. And this was, I think, one of the questions you had, had written down is what are the different brain waves, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have slow brain waves um, and it's measured in hertz. So 2 to 11 hertz would be something called theta. Theta brain waves, the mental state associated with a theta brain wave would be kind of dreamy, um, right before you fall asleep, that sort of thing. Alpha is a uh, middle speed, it's about eight to 12 hertz. Um, alpha is the state of um, being very calm and restful. And then beta is a little bit faster, and beta is what your brain produces when you're thinking, when you're doing a math problem, when you're reading. And then there's something called high beta, which is super fast, and your brain produces that when you're either worried or very kind of um, obsessed with something, you can't stop thinking about it. And then there's um, delta, which is your sleeping one, and gamma, which is um, basically your consciousness. <laughs> So that's kind of an overview of the different speeds. Okay, so we have another question and that is how do you use uh, video games to change brain waves? Can you see this okay? Yeah, that's yeah. the... Yeah, so this is what, this. if someone comes to me for training, how I start is I do a 20 channel EEG. An EEG is an electroencephalogram. It's a measurement of the electricity in your brain. So if if someone, if you guys came to me for uh, um, treatment, I would start and I would put this, it's like a swim cap, and I would put this on your head and you can see in here, all the cord, it um, conducts the electricity. And then um, I'll clip these to the ear. And it, it only takes me actually 20 minutes to, to measure 20 channels. And what I'm measuring is your theta, alpha, beta, delta, gamma on 20 different spots in 20 minutes. So it's, it's actually pretty neat. But that's how I start. Then once I see your brain assessment, what I can do is um, create a training plan. So I compare what I find with a normal brain. Um, and then I make a training and a plan to balance the brain. So I'll give you behavior has, has a very specific brain pattern. Um, ADD, 
has it is right at the top of the head there's too much theta so someone with ADD has way too much slow brain waves compared to their fast brain waves so that's how I can tell if someone has ADD it's really for me not about behaviors it's about how much slow activity they have and uh, for someone that came to me with that that showed too much slow brain waves I would put a sensor right at the top of the head on my on my screen I would program decrease theta or inhibit theta. So I'm telling the brain, I don't want you to produce that slow stuff anymore. And so what happens is I'll put that on my screen and the client will watch a movie on their screen. And so um, they're watching the movie, but it flickers just a little bit. And when it flickers, the brain wants to watch that movie in full color and full volume and doesn't want it to flicker so the brain actually changes it's conditioned to change in order to make the movie play better so um does that does that make sense yeah yeah it does very interesting yeah, actually. good so it's just conditioning i'm there's no electricity that ever passes to the client um i'm just conditioning the brain because i know what the brain likes the brain likes clicks and and um, high-pitched sounds and louder sounds and brighter color so if if the brain is able to make that happen it will change its pattern to make it brighter and louder and and uh, create clicks um, an interesting fact is the most motivating um, sound for the brain is is just a click so if I can um, teach the brain to create clicks, it will do what I want. <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy. Okay. Um, so we're actually doing two projects right now. And that's in science, where it's just the basics of the brain. And we're also doing another project on the brain, but for psychology. And we thought about doing the topic on meditation. And that's actually what led us to you. So in your opinion, uh, what can you tell us about the influence of meditation on the brain waves? Meditation is, um, is, is uh, a wonderful way of creating alpha. When you meditate, you're cr actually creating alpha, which is eight to 12 hertz activity. Um, alpha is, we call it the parking lot brain wave. It's where your brain is able to stop for a moment and rest. I see people who come to me that actually aren't producing any alpha. And what that means is their brain is either on and thinking and going or they're sleeping, but they don't have any alpha to allow their brain to rest, which is really exhausting. <laughs> so um, one part of what I do is I teach people to breathe slowly and um, meditation would be a big part of that. The body and the brain are very interconnected. So if you can breathe slowly and meditate, you will actually create more alpha, which is a very restful brainwave. So yes, I, I, I think meditation is great.